There is no dialogue here. There is no bridge here. There's racism and violence, and there's the right of people to be free and fight for the freedom. When the people of Gaza march, and have been marching for months now, they're not marching into an international border, which they would have you believe. They're marching against a prison wall, a prison fence. Their lands, their home, their rights are on the other side. I grew up in a very, very patriotic Israeli household. The president of the state of Israel, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and I, and a father who was a general. In my case, it was the death of my 13-year-old niece in a suicide attack in Jerusalem. And that forced me into a journey into Palestine. You cannot live the life of a privileged white person, settler colonizer, in a country, take away their rights, deny them their water, their land, and their freedom, and their life, and expect to sit around with no consequences. Resistance to occupation, to settler colonialism, to oppression, is sanctified by international law, even with the use of arms. Nobody wants to see the civilians die, so Israel can stop bombing and murdering civilians. And it's very easy to throw this, this notion of destroying Israel, destroying Israel, what does that mean? It means destroying the privilege. It was Israel that established a reality where today, <coughs> all of Palestine, or like I said, as some may call it Israel, from the river to the sea, is one state. In 1948, the western part of Jerusalem was subjected to a 100% campaign of ethnic cleansing. Not a single Palestinian, not a single Palestinian family was allowed to remain. Not one. Now to say that there is any sense of coexistence in Jerusalem, which is one of the most racist cities in the world. I grew up in Jerusalem. I went to school in Jerusalem. We never saw a Palestinian. We never met a Palestinian. Open the gates, free Palestine, allow the refugees to return to their homes, and everybody can live together in peace. But you don't yeah. want that. Zionists are racist. And that is exactly what I said when we started here.